we could find anything on this. We'll put uh, formaldehyde. Yeah, formaldehyde. Uh, and then we'll put Ebola here. Um, once injected, it reportedly produces uh, Ebola-like symptoms and sends the formaldehyde or uh, article. So they 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 scrub this article here. In fact, this one of these might be my this might be my video. Let's just see here. If, if this is me, yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Liberians poisoned with formaldehyde to simulate Ebola, and they reported on this. Here's the article, Liberia, the Daily Observer here in Monrovia, right? Um, let's just play a bit of this. In Monrovia, um, dated October the 14th, that's today. Let's look at this, breaking formaldehyde in water, allegedly causing Ebola-like symptoms. Can you believe this, right? A man in Shifalin, uh, a community located in the Maragibi County on the Roberts Field Highway, um, has been arrested for attempting to put formaldehyde into a well used by the community. <laughs> you wonder why they're freaking lynching people there, Red Cross and stuff, right? Uh, reports say around 10 a.m. he was he approached the well with powder in a bottle. Mod by the community, he confessed that he had been paid to put formaldehyde into the well and uh, that he was not the only one. Reportedly, he reportedly told community dwellers that we are many. They are agents in Harbell, Dolestown, Cotton Tree, and other communities around the country, he said. State Radio ELBC reports that at least 10 people in Dolestown community have died after drinking water from poison well. Oh my lord. I mean, as if they don't have it rough enough, right? <laughs> and so, like, if you don't know, Liberia is, I mean, it's about as poor as you could possibly get. As you see here, I'm not going to play any more of the video. Um, the man also alleged some water companies, particularly those bagging mineral water to sell, are also involved. The poison, he said, produces Ebola-like symptoms and subsequently kills people. And then they talked, the observer had previously had informed that people dressed as nurses were going into communities with Ebola. Vaccines once injected, it reportedly reproduces Ebola-like symptoms. Okay, so what I was what I was talking about here is they had vice was all over Monrovia, right? And they were doing these horrible things. Okay, so I, I, I remember one of them was uh, Ebola and the monkey meat, monkey meat, vice media, where they were doing these totally racist wow. sort of depictions of of well i mean like from a perspective that we were doing but they put up all these videos and in some of these videos they were going up to people on the street right and they were saying you know they the, it was it was unbelievable i don't know which videos i'd probably be able to find them where they were talking to people on the streets about ebola and the people were laughing at them and and they were like Aren't you worried about Ebola? And the people are like, it's total bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the government. You know? <laughs> so the Liberians, a lot of them knew that the whole thing was a scam. So they, they did this too as well. I'll show you this. I'll put Ebola song. They, they had the number one song in Liberia here was this Ebola song. And it's, it's, again, it was Ebola is real, protect yourself. <laughs> and it was like the, the government made it the number one song in the country and, and everything. It was too crazy. It was insane. They were so determined to, to, to uh, condition their citizens into believing that there was an outbreak. And so, so what, was the, what was the point with the monkey meat? I don't, I didn't quite get it. Um, okay, so the monkey meat, my theory on the monkey meat thing is that they're trying to show, they're trying to create that, oh, look at where this disease comes from. It's because it's so, uh, it's so unsterile. Like, so like what they were showing in the Vice video. Which it is, but I don't think the disease came from. from no, no, I know, but it, it, it's, it's all about yeah. a psychological sort of programming of the masses into like, well, these diseases are coming from these areas of of people that just have meat out in the open counters and there's flies everywhere and, and people are just eating, you know, but that's not what it is. It, it's, yeah. it's all about creating this mindset. You have to build like the whole thing about Ebola was to build, you have to build this whole narrative. It has to be, it's a global thing. It, it, 
everyone around the world, with Australia, Sweden, Canada, United States, you know, Brazil, people, go, everyone has to be programmed. There has to be a history. There has to be, you know, all kinds of, of backstories to build up the narrative. So they were doing all these things in Africa, and I was covering video after video, and I was showing, oh my God, they were having, they're showing these hospitals, and they were saying there's no room for people, and then they go in the hospitals, and there'd be nobody, nobody, all the rooms were empty. They were going, it was <laughs> unbelievable what they were doing. They were faking the whole thing, basically. Yeah, it was a psyop for sure. It was a massive psyop, and 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 um, yeah, it, it was it was really crazy because. It scares the shit out of me. On one hand, I was I was really elated because what we were seeing was the people in Africa, um, the people in 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 Liberia were not buying it. By and large, the people on the street, you know how it is. The word on the street is different than the word on the government, right? People talk, and people don't trust the government at all. They don't trust the government. I mean, it's the last thing they do is trust the government. So one of the reasons why. Which they were doing is is this that Ebola is real everywhere in Liberia everywhere they were putting up these massive signs everywhere I was showing this Ebola is real Ebola is real because the people didn't believe it and then they would do shit like this it's just total bullshit I and mean, you look at this this is a completely staged photo yeah funny yeah. during the uh, Black Plague in Europe uh, nobody was going around with signs Black Plague is real. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at the theatrics the government went through. It's just obvious, right? I mean, if it's actually going on, I mean, give me a break. They probably paid, you know, they probably gave him like a five dollar bill and say, you know, okay, put put this on. I got people right. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the fucking Pope hat on. He's got Ebola is real on the Pope hat. That's, I mean, the that's guy fantastic. probably didn't even write that, right? Somebody just scribbled it, paid him five bucks to walk around the whole team with that on. So everywhere you go, they were doing this. And I would say, and the people in, in Liberia were laughing at it. They were like, oh, it's government bullshit, right? They were just fucking, they didn't buy it at all. And Vice was like, what, what you don't believe it? Are you serious? It's killing people. They're like, oh, it's government bullshit. <laughs> so um, yeah. the fact that you had these... Um, uh, formaldehyde these uh these articles that were coming up they scrubbed them from the internet they fucking scrubbed them this was a huge huge deal back when all this was happening it was we were freaking out we were all over this whole saga it was really crazy it, it's just say, Jeff, real quick i think that you're right and that it was just uh, a test run you know i i, I think that's the conclusion that y'all kind of came to and i agree with that conclusion honestly i think it was a test run yeah I, i'm not saying that really Ebola itself doesn't exist that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that the outbreak was staged and i'm saying that they right. they were paying right. people to poison poison wells it's the oldest trick in the book go and poison the well right to to uh create the Ebola like symptoms so that they they create panic amongst the, the pop population right it, it's it, that's why i was freaking out i said this is so diabolical could you imagine they're, they're dumping formaldehyde in the fucking public drinking wells and people are dying you know how diabolical what, what kind of mindset would do that what kind of you know and and so yeah this and, and so when the uh where is it formaldehyde here um, they covered this up and then they put up these articles here. Here, let's see, there's a this is Liberian. Look at this. Okay, so we'll open the Iberian <laughs> formaldehyde allegedly causing. I mean, the the they were scrubbing these articles from the internet and preventing people from uh getting the information out and shit. And it was just it was crazy, man. It was like wow, this is actually going on. These characters that they came in. Yeah, this girl. <laughs> Nina fam. That's <laughs> this, oh, this is the first girl that had Ebola. She's the happiest Ebola person ever. This is what she looked like when she had Ebola. <laughs> it's <just> ridiculous. <laughs> she got hugged by the president, of course. I mean, it was unbelievable. This blew my mind. Never in, in, in all the green stuff. The green stuff, what I was showing was every single day they were putting anchors with bright green shirts on all the time they had one uh, thing which i would love to find which i think was fox news and it they had two girls dressed in the exact same neon green dress 
and they couldn't keep their face straight. They were duping delight. They were full of duping delight while they were trying to talk seriously about Ebola. It was so utterly fucking concocted. It was ridiculous. Like how incredibly obvious it is if you just like really examine what's going on. So it, the, Ebola is probably, in my opinion, one of the best examples of how mind control works um, and how they're able to program the masses into these agendas. It's, it's uncanny, the power that they have. They can make something happen and spread it across the world in no time. It's scary. And um, that's why I'm very, very concerned about where you know what what the next outbreak will be because there will be one you know that everyone knows that right there's going to be an outbreak and we have uh, you know never had uh in our sort of lifetimes or our uh parents or grandparents lifetimes a a, a massive outbreak um what was it, spanish influenza or whatever i mean where a, a significant portion of of people lost their lives you could go back and you could probably argue that the bubonic plague in many ways was accelerated <laughs> and spread purposely to depopulate. Um, I think uh, <laughs> there might be uh, evidence to uh, substantiate that sort of claim as well. Um, but I think that in my mind, the most logical sort of way to not only depopulate the planet, but also usher in a complete surveillance state would be to coordinate a massive outbreak a global outbreak that that in my opinion would be the game changer